this thing on I can't tell cause you never reply They all gone am I late did I miss the invite Maybe it's me I can't tell I ran out of time This thing on I can't tell Cause you never reply Where did you go? Was that you that just drove past the house? It isn't me that they're laughing at When I step out Maybe I'm paranoid Feels like I let everyone down Feels like everybody's thinking I'm a nobody now I'd have to write myself a letter Just to know it get read I drink myself back to life To make sure I ain't dead But I ain't dead, yeah Is there a number to call? Is there a place I can hide? This thing on, I can't tell, cause you never reply. No, you don't. I'd have to slap myself around just to feel any pain and If it do any good, you know I'd do it again And again You know these things I'd have done, they won't mean shit when I die You know these songs that I've sung, they won't make anyone cry Maybe it's me, I can't tell, I ran out of time Is this thing on, I can't tell, cause you never reply Now I'm done my complaining, you just read my mind It's you on the line So you're playing music. Um, what do you got coming up? Um, like between uh, now and the spring, what, what are the musical goals? Okay, so I love the fact that you've invited us to do the Christmas show that we're yep. going to do at Aaron Theater because yep. I was going to do an old standard, and um, I had somebody ask me if I've got a Christmas, Christmas song. Too. So I lied and said I did, <laughs> and then they told me that they were going to put it out. So I wrote a Christmas song. Uh, so that's kind of like it's funny. I just released this other single, and I, you know, everybody's telling you you got to give everything room to breathe. But I, like again, I just want to be as prolific as I can. So next month we're going to release the Christmas single. I'm going to come and play your your show as well, um, and then a, a couple of other smaller scale things. I'm trying to get out of the bar. As funny as yeah. that sounds, right? Um, the house show thing has been great, but I've been working with a couple other. Um, I'm trying. You know what I'm trying to do is I'm playing in hotels and I know that sounds so funny but mm. I'm playing in in some of these more upper scale rooms where people you don't they're not there to see you but the the, the hotel bar thing yeah I've seen I've, I've seen yeah the, and it's like doing that, yeah. and it's kind of great because the sound setup is really minimal and yeah. you know it might not be the prettiest wallflower but I'm just there in the corner and kind mm -hmm. of giving people a soundtrack while they have an expensive yeah. glass of wine so I'm kind of going to pivot and try to do a couple of the lower scale, th you know, things to that nature instead of like new and not to knock anything, but instead of driving downtown to play a new music Tuesday for five people and yeah. you make, you're lucky if you make gas money. I think I'm just trying to be a little bit more creative in how I'm, when I leave the house, how I'm doing that and 
heaven forbid, making a couple dollars because like we had talked about before, all of my money and my guys in the band, you know, are so generous that we don't take a dollar. It all goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It all yeah. goes right back into the product, right? So yeah. you can make a t-shirt, you can pay for a mix, you can yeah. keep the, the thing on the track. That never ends. No, you know, and I, mean, I hope the bigger, not. The bigger you get, the more people you're paying. Right. You know, I mean, it's always, you know, that bit, I mean, I guess at some point you hit a tipping point and then the money starts coming back for a walk. Or well, anything. even, you know, within the Whiskey Wednesday thing, I love shutting down everything else and like we'll, we'll sit in the living room and and because it's happening like re in real time. There is something about that. Yeah. There's, a, you know, yeah. that aesthetic to the whole thing. Like I, when the Ireland, you know, boys were in here or whatever, right. like I was watching in real time. Yeah. Or, you know, it's like. If I can't be here, you can still be here. In fact, when we played Jimmy Jazz in Guelph, you know, a couple months ago, Stephen Stanley and I, I just set up my phone. You yeah. know what I mean? So there was like people chiming in and I just did a live stream from Instagram. So whoever didn't want to come out all the way to Guelph or whatever, there's yeah. something really cool about that connection. And I think that's where technology can actually work for yeah. us. Right. And don't get me wrong. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to two concerts this weekend and they might be the only two that I go to this year, but you know, yeah. it, it doesn't really happen all that often. And I think that I don't, I, I don't want to say that it's like a, an agoraphobic thing, but I don't really leave the house all that often. Yeah. So if I do, it's got to be worth it. But if I'm at home, there's something pretty, you know, it's, it's almost a romantic quality to be able to like, we're going to live stream this thing and sit yeah. at home and watch it, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's a groovy, weird time to be alive. Yeah, right. Ashes at friends' houses, yeah. you know, to run, hotel costs get to be crazy and stuff. So uh, Newfoundland being a hometown, um, you know, we do, uh, we do have some fun down there and it usually kind of almost breaks even, which is, uh, you know, to take, take the band down to Newfoundland and drink and eat Newfie food for two or three days. Do you guys uh, kitchen party there when you go down? Yeah, is that we, we do a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of everything. You, you never really know what you're going to get, but... Uh, but that's the, that's that's, the that's way the it goes. That's why, exactly. right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been wonderful having Matthew Holtby on the show. Thank you very Thank much, you, sir, brother. for coming out. Thank um, you. From down Workworth Way these days. Um, you can catch him online um, on uh, on various social media platforms. It's all under Matthew Holtby right now, right? Yes, sir. Dot com and yeah. all that stuff, Facebook and everything. Your Instagram, what's your favorite platform that you kind of share what you find? To yeah, I would say Instagram just because I feel like it's so immediate. I mean, if I'm working... I have to literally stop myself from the scroll right. because of Facebook. So I've done my best to, somebody told me once that just because you're out there, you can leave something without waiting to see what other people think about it. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's a really noble yeah. idea is that you can still be out there without the engagement and don't get me wrong when it's positive, it's great. Yeah. But I can positively say that I don't recall a time that I've had a negative back and forth with somebody getting caught in that trap. So yeah. Yeah, I would say Instagram. Um, I limit my family exposure to it. I try to keep it more based on the music and, you know, for lack of a better term, the business. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm an IG guy as opposed to like the constant TikTok, uh, right. Facebook yeah. thing. I, I'm getting old for that shit. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's a lot of work staying on top of it all. Yeah, man. Well, Matthew, again, thanks for coming on the Thank show, you. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, getting to know Matthew and his story and uh, hearing about his music. And he's got a couple songs he recorded here tonight as well. We're going to listen to those. We may have already listened to one at the top of the show. I haven't cut any of this. I don't know. I, I don't know how long this is going to be. I don't know what the cuts are going to be like. So, uh, you know, I might be talking about something in the past, even though it hasn't yet happened because we're broadcasting into the future. We will see you in eight days, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Why am I so used to all this bad news? Won't my troubles go away? I'm the one who's always hanging on to yesterday. You know I try, and I want you by my side. Why am I so used to all this bad news? Won't my troubles go away? But I'm the one who's always hanging on to 
yesterday You know I try And I want you by my side When the skies are cold and gray Just lay back down I'm telling you now Why you should stay You say you love the way I look into your eyes That you always feel so great And that you need to know that everything is fine And I'm coming home today Why is it so hard to let down my guard? Or do I always pull away? When I'm the one who's always hanging on to yesterday You say you love the way I call you every night that it always feels so great To have my arms here wrapped around you so tight You always feel so safe Why am I so used to all this bad news? Why do I always pull away? And I'm the one who's always hanging on to yesterday Ooh, I'm the one who's always hanging on to yesterday Ooh,